Hi everyone, I'm Liz Brown Swanson bringing you an RPV TV update from the popular Eastview Park located right here on West Mount Drive below Western Avenue in Rancho Palos Verdes. Get ready to meet some of the cutest dogs and their beloved owners who came out for the city's second annual Valentine's Pooch Party put on by RPV's Reckon Parks team at the dog park. Hi, my name is Jennifer Escobar and I'm a rec leader one here at Eastview Park um, and today is our Valentine's Pooch Party event. Um, it's an annual thing so, you know, um, we're bigger and better every time. Um, and, you know, a lot of people came out today, a lot of dogs dressed in Valentine's Day attire, a lot of um, vendors, hopefully we'll have a lot more in the future. We had raffle winners today. We raffled off this big gift certificate from Dogtopia, um, which allowed for three days of daycare and a wash. Um, we also had gift cards and treats, and it was just a really great event, a really fun time. All the patrons have been saying thank you. We're having so much fun. There's a lot a lot of nice cute dogs here and so we're just making friends. Tell us about Biscuit and why Biscuit such a loving dog. Uh, Biscuit is such a loving dog. We actually rescued him four years ago uh, from the Long Beach SPCA. So right away we had a connection with him and you know he is like my he's my fur baby. <laughs> yeah. And you said you love coming to this park. You moved to the area a year ago. Everybody is just super friendly. There's lots of nice dogs here. It's easy to talk to other people here. So, you know, you really feel like um, you're part of a community. And with the Frank family and their fabulous furry friend, Chewy, what do you think of all this today? Oh, we love it. We've, it's been so much fun. We didn't really know what to expect. It's our first puppy love party. <laughs> and we loved it from the very beginning of the uh, the parade and the nice treats and just all the people and the, the paw print. And so it's just been fun. And we got Chewy's sister and brother right here. Hi, what, tell us about your dog. Uh, well, he's really cute and he loves cuddles. How, how about you? What do you enjoy about having Chewy around? Oh, everything. He's really nice to cuddle with. He's just a great dog in general. I'm with Sally, who's with our Rec and Parks team here every day at the dog park. Talk about today's celebration for starters. Oh my gosh, we have been planning this since last October when we did a Halloween parade. And it's like, we have to do more. The patrons came out in force for Halloween and they doubled today for our Valentine's. Valentine's is heart and love and that's what I'm all about. And the patrons just so appreciate what we're doing. They, I, we can't hear enough how, my gosh, you guys, I can't believe this is the best thing ever. We love this park and the regulars, too. It's like a family here. I feel like we're all a family. And this is a park with rules, too. So what should dog owners know if they want to bring their dogs here? Obviously, it's divided for small dogs, large dogs, and the sign says behind you, no aggressive dogs. Right. They need to follow those rules. We enforce them. Well, we remind them that there are rules. Dog, no dogs off the leash. You know, walk them into the enclosures on their leash, and then you can take them off the leash. As you leave, again, the same thing. Put your dog back on the leash as you exit the park. And then everybody's happy. There's no problems, and everybody's following the rules, as a good dog owner does. And, of course, this park is something for everyone. This We're at the dog park, but there's nine-plus acres here for with amenities for all to enjoy. Exactly. We have a wonderful playground for our children. I have a group of nannies that have started coming with their little little toddlers. And again, I try and make everybody feel like they're family here. They're welcome. And we just have a good time. It makes for a wonderful work day. We're definitely feeling the love with Shinobi and Chris here. You come to this park every day. Every day. It's a great park. Everybody's Everybody's awesome. She, all the dogs are awesome. And it, people here are really welcome. And they, they love the dogs. And the park's great. They keep everything in shape. Every great environment for everybody to come and enjoy. I love my dog so much. Every, all the dogs here are awesome. Tell us a little bit about Precious. Uh, she's a wonderful little dog here. She's had a couple injuries the last year, but she's recovered and getting around okay. Uh, she loves to wave to everyone. It's kind of her wave? favorite thing. <laughs> She'll just wave and wave and wave all day. Love coming here. I've been bringing her here a couple years now. Uh, she loves to have all her little friends here. A bunch of them are here. And uh, she just loves making everyone happy. Just waving away, spreading the joy. 
I'm Sabrina from Sentinel Feed and Pet Supplies. I'm the general manager over here in Rancho Palos Verdes. We're a family-owned pet store that has all the different things that your pet could need, cats and dogs, and even some small animal stuff. And I'm just really excited to be here today to meet all the puppies and say hello, and give some treats. And I'm so excited to get to know the park and all the people that come here. I think it's such a beautiful park here, especially for all the dogs. What makes Eastview Park special is basically um, a really sense of community um, around here. A lot of dog owners come who live in the area and um, everybody loves like the open fields, the grassy field, the benches, the trees, the shade. I know not a lot of dog parks in the area have all that. Um, they love being able to walk their dogs around the pathways. Uh, really just, uh, we built a strong sense of community here. We have our regular patrons who come and see us every day. Uh, I actually started out bringing my dog here and that's actually how I even found out about RPV and became a rec leader. I do want to let the community know that uh, we will be temporarily uh, closing the dog park enclosures uh, for a big reseeding project and some further maintenance and that will occur on February 15th. Um, and we expect to be open again by late March. So we're going to wrap it up here with a vet and biscuit. We had too much fun here today. And whether you come here with your beloved dogs or you just come to have fun at Eastview Park, check it out on the city's website, rpvca.gov. There's something here to love every day of the year. Thanks for tuning in to this RPV TV update. See you next time.